More than ten years have passed since the main character found himself in this world, which combines reality and game moments. When local people turn 18, they awaken various abilities that allow them to go beyond human capabilities. All classes are divided into three types, combat, household, and support. If a person awakens the household class, then he will not differ much from an ordinary person without a class. The support class requires a huge amount of resources at the start of his leveling. From the very beginning, the hero dreamed of awakening the combat class. In this world, there are countless different dungeons, forbidden or secret areas and monsters, so the hero also wants to awaken the fighting class and start fighting the monsters. Therefore, the hero Leroy intends to become the strongest man in this world. Today is the day of awakening. The class teacher has not taken his eyes off the hero for a minute, because there is no one in front of him, but he is still standing. The homeroom teacher of class number 6, Scarlet, asked Leroy to stop breaking discipline even on the day he woke up. The hero's friend wished him good luck, and he responded by saying that very soon he would return as a real king. The teacher told the hero that he has the grain of a true warrior in him, and he has high hopes for him. All the people around were surprised at the awakening of Lyra's power. They are all waiting for the results, what class he will receive. The teacher was surprised that the hero discovered a hidden class, which exists in addition to the three main ones. Heaven and Earth themselves were surprised at the hero's talent, so they rewarded him with a hidden class. The hero is not happy. He sacrifices his life, having received the support class. Altars are a real anomaly among the class. People with this class are able to strengthen their comrades with the help of war chants. However, the cultivation path for this class is extremely complex. The class cultivation system has ten kingdoms, which include ten levels each. Even the mighty warriors of the 60th level do not dare to enter the depths of heavenly tribulation, such a test, and the hero will have to do this in the initial stages of his cultivation. The leader said that throughout history, none of the owners could get beyond the 10th level. This class is considered one of the most useless throughout the world. Leroy looked at his skills and realized that he needed to reach level 10, and this was very difficult to achieve. But suddenly, surprisingly, the owner, after a long absence, entered the systems, for which she activated 10,000 boosts. This system can once strengthen by 10,000 times everything that relates to the owner himself. There are no restrictions on the choice. Now the hero has as many as four skills of the forbidden level and all attributes have also been increased 10,000 times. With this set, Leroy has every chance to penetrate into heavenly sorrow. A friend caught up with the hero and said that in seven days the main entrance exam will take place. Everyone should make the most of the time to become stronger and enter the academy. A group of bullies approached the guys. The head of their campaign began to grin at the hero and said that he would be better off going somewhere as a laborer. Leroy responded by telling Glenn to stay a good dog and get off the road. Glenn did not tolerate such rudeness from the hero. He was the best in school and no one else. Habiendo puesto la lata en el carro, el héroe recordó que necesitaba comprar comida para su mascota. The hero is ready to fight Glenn, because the bully only verbally says that he can defeat Leroy with one hand. Glenn threatened that in a couple of days he would reach level 10, if not even higher, and then the hero would remain a low-level pathetic loser. On the way home, his friend Lyra encourages him, saying that it is the hero who will definitely become a great man. When Leroy arrived at the doorstep of the house, he was in a stupor. He didn't know how to tell his parents about his strength, because they would probably be very disappointed. The hero came home and felt how delicious it smelled. The boss let his parents go early so that the whole family could properly celebrate their son's awakening. The father is very proud of his son, so he doesn't mind if his son drinks with him. Leroy didn't know how to tell everything. As soon as he started talking, his parents said that the leader had already told them everything. They believe that worthy people can make a name for themselves in any business. Therefore, Dad suggested that the hero, in order not to worry about the dark future, should drink to the bright one. But the son promised that he would never give up because of such a trifle. The hero wanted to help his mother, but she copes on her own. Instead, she said that she could go watch TV. Dad called his son to him, gave him the chest and fell asleep himself after drinking light beer. Mom said that this is a gift. This treasure in their family is passed down from generation to generation. It has been passed down for more than a hundred years. The mother asks her son not to judge their family only by his father. Once upon a time their family occupied a fairly high position in society. 
The family was very rich for several generations, and now an outstanding magician, Leroy, has again appeared in their family. It is he who will bring the family to the previous level. Or maybe much higher. This is gold-level equipment for a magician on the market. Such a set would cost almost a million. It is suitable for both attack and defense. And after receiving the equipment, the system improved it 10,000 times. Just great. Now the hero is wearing legendary level equipment. And now he will be able to deal double damage with earth and lightning magic. Since ancient times, magicians have fought with the help of long-range spells. From now on everyone will know Leroy as a master of long-range spells. Once the hero reaches the 10th level, he will have to enter the heavenly tribulation. Only after absorbing the source of the natural disaster will he be able to move to another realm. The kingdom of Hayes is a state surrounded by the sea, which is why the state includes countless small islands and volcanic mountains. The coast of this country is literally teeming with various monsters, and dark thunderclouds constantly gather over the ocean, which often cause natural disasters. Friend Leroy wanted to team up tomorrow to level up, but the hero refused. The kingdom of Hayes is too dangerous for a person who is at the level of the first kingdom. It's quite late. Lyra needs to go to bed and get a good rest, hoping that everything will go smoothly tomorrow. The next day has arrived, and the hero goes to the land of Hayes. Lyra is greeted by a sign warning him to be careful while fighting monsters, otherwise his family will cry about death. And then immediately, without announcement, the first enemy appears. When attacked by an enemy, the hero's shield immediately responded to the danger. His robe truly lives up to its legendary level. This did not stop the monster, and he continued the attack. Lyra's shield only protects against physical and magical attacks. It does not affect long-range mental attacks. The hero calls upon Wandering Dust, a traveler who has lost his way, the roar of the gods, the call of many stars, the intentions of evil and the revival of order. Leroy did everything perfectly. He activated the forbidden spell, the area of chaos. The guard told the minister that the level of magical fluctuations in Hueijo had reached its maximum. But the minister said that there was no way the enemy could strike unexpectedly, so they were not monsters. In order for the minister to be convinced of his thought, he asked the guard to contact higher management and ask if there are people among the entire population who would be able to use the forbidden spell. A warning was sounded over all loudspeakers. A state of highest alert was declared in the city, so citizens should leave their homes without panic and begin evacuating to specially prepared shelters. All the people left their homes and do not understand how such a catastrophe could begin. The military successfully blocked the first wave. Evacuation began due to the danger to the population, and the detachment completed preparations and is awaiting further instructions. The hero at this time receives all the rewards for killings, although it took him a lot of experience to get to level 10. But how nice it is when his bag is filled with materials. Leroy received the book as a gift for rewards, and now he can destroy enemies and buff allies without resorting to chance. Now the last task remains. The hero needs to get to the center of the natural disaster and collect the elements of fire and wind. Due to the volcanic eruption, all the local monsters simply turned into embers, which means that now the hero does not have to worry about them. Arriving at the place, Leroy immediately finds the element of fire. And finally, the hero finds the last element of the elements, which is the element of wind. The hero is impressed that he managed to get not only two elemental elements, but also a huge amount of equipment and materials. If he sells at least part of all this stuff on the market, he can get a tidy sum. After the adventure and inspection of the inventory, Leroy is about to head towards the house. Leroy certainly did not expect that when he returned, he would see frightened people from the tsunami disaster. He doesn't understand what's happening. A girl ran up and said that unfortunately, the teleport is temporarily not working. But the hero doesn't understand what to do, because he just decided to return home. So the woman will take him to the central shelter. When the worker told the whole story to the guy, he realized that the tsunami was caused by his forbidden technique, which he used in the kingdom of Hayes. Leroy blames himself, he was too careless about the power of forbidden spells, and now because of this, the city of Huizhou is in danger. The military man looked at the monitor and told the minister that the barrier was at its maximum capacity, and there were only five minutes left before the collision with the next wave. 
the minister immediately asks other military personnel to tell the main headquarters to send the strongest level 30 soldiers, and also for the headquarters to request help from nearby cities. According to the guard, a crack has begun to appear in the wall. If things continue like this, everyone will be doomed to death. The minister ordered all the soldiers at his command to deploy a protective barrier. They must push the waves back, sparing no effort, before the tsunami reached the city. But the soldiers fail, their magic cannot cope with such waves. Unexpectedly for everyone, a song of blessing began to play. Many soldiers began to recover and be filled with magical energy. After the blessing, the soldiers successfully deployed the barriers and managed to contain the waves within the barrier itself. The minister asks to continue to maintain the barrier, and whoever has any strength left should use teleportation magic and throw this huge wave as far into the sea as possible. The portal with an unspecified teleportation location was successfully activated. The sea level dropped first by 10%, then by 50. Everyone defeated the tsunami thanks to the hero. From now on he needs to be very careful when using forbidden spells. He must under no circumstances be allowed to do this again. The hero's mother called and asked how he was, because a huge tsunami had just nearly hit the city. But Leroy did not say that he was to blame for this, but simply said that he was sitting in a shelter. Tomorrow the hero will go to the upgrade hall and take on some task, and then go to the market and sell the materials that he was able to knock out today. In the upgrade room, the worker said that there are types of tasks. The first type has a prepared task of difficulty A or B, and the second type has a random task like the randomness of the difficulty level. As soon as the hero chose the second type, he was asked to put his hand on the ball and pour some energy into it. Leroy was given an S-class assignment. The worker asked him to refuse it, because such tasks were tantamount to a death sentence, but the hero did not refuse. After accepting the task, a group of guys invited the hero to join them, because together they would definitely be able to complete it. Leroy refused their offer. He prefers to work alone. The head did not like this attitude of the hero and decided to teach him a lesson, but the hero, without hesitation, kicks him away. Therefore, they decided that since it did not work out directly, they would act dirty. Leroy came to the branch of the merchant guild and laid out everything he wanted to sell, but the girl definitely didn't expect such a quantity. The girl asked to wait a little, she needed to contact the manager to receive further instructions. A couple of minutes later, the branch manager of the merchant guild came, he is a level 46 treasure appraisal master. The manager has never met such a person who could bring so many treasures at once. For all the treasures the hero will receive at least 23 million. And also, for two more treasures, Leroy will receive a plus of 140 million. The hero received a black card from the trade guild. Now no matter which branch Lin goes to, with this card he will be served at the highest level. Previously, the dungeons were full of monsters but now there are so many people walking around calmly. After looking at the map, this is where the messenger of the abyss should appear. Indeed, a real freak appeared here that the hero even got goosebumps. In one blow, the monster took away as many as 1800 HP points from the hero, when even the frog could only take 800. At that moment, that leader came again quietly. He called Leroy a small fish in front of the messenger of the abyss. The hero believed that the bald guy found out how much he got from the trophies and now came to rob him. In response, he said that he was a warrior who had reached the second realm, so such level 10 garbage only clicks once. Lyra had long wanted to try one forbidden spell, the intervention of the fallen, and now this moment had come. The head's friends began to attack him, they wanted his death. He is ready to give half of their share, if only they would not touch him. The one doomed to death does not understand where the hero has such strength, because he is just a level 10 support. But Lyra is living proof that there are unique individuals who are capable of more than their powers. When the hero left the dungeon, he realized that he had created a disaster again. His magic was so powerful that the dungeon could collapse so easily. At the Ministry of Magic Control, a guard reported to the minister that a powerful energy wave had arisen inside the dungeon and now the dungeon could collapse at any moment. The minister urgently called the mayor and reported an emergency in the dungeon. The mayor said to immediately start assembling a rescue squad, because every second counts. There is one problem. The students have recently awakened, and most likely there are now a huge number of people inside the dungeon. Leroy will never forgive himself and his life if someone dies through his fault, 
so he activated the forbidden level of the skill, Guardian Angel, chanting the song of the Goddess of Life. The hero will be able to save some of the allies who died in battle. The skill really worked great, and not a single person died. Leroy came to the upgrade room and asked the girl to start quickly, but she thought about something completely different. At first she could not believe that, as a hero, he abandoned her incredible beauty, and then she realized that Leroy had completed the task of killing the messenger of the abyss. All the students in the area are shocked. They don't understand how Leroy could kill him so quickly. The hero answered everyone that he was unlucky, but that other masters simply came to help. Now the hero can ascend to the second kingdom. He believes that the difference between the first and second kingdom is like heaven and earth. When Lyra came out, an incomprehensible chaos was happening on the street. The guy he met said that the minister believed that some incredibly powerful creature had appeared near their city, which had caused the disasters of recent days. The minister said that from today the dungeon will be closed due to recent events, for the safety of people. If Leroy cannot leave the city, then he will definitely not see any materials and equipment. Leroy returned and decided to buy all the magic scrolls, all twenty of them on the list. He would also like to know about the sources of natural disasters. The manager couldn't say, there's just very little information about the sources, and it's quite expensive. In exchange for information, the hero offered his one epic level item. The manager was delighted and said that an auction would soon be held in the city, where one of the slots would be information about the sources of natural disasters, so the hero would have to wait a little. He couldn't let his dear hero Leroy go with nothing, so he gave the entrance to a silver copy of the legendary portal of the Holy Land. As long as the hero has this rare item, he will be able to take one person with him and raise his level without any problems. Leroy wondered who he could take with him into the portal, since there was such an opportunity. Suddenly, his best friend called the hero and said that he wanted to help with pumping. But suddenly the city was closed, so he eats his grief with delicious meat and booze. When Leroy said that everything was valid since he had a silver copy of the portal, his friend almost knocked over his beer in surprise. The next morning, a friend came early. He wanted to look at that rich woman who warmed Leroy but for some reason he did not see anyone next to the hero. The hero laughed at him and began to hug his friend tightly. A gang of guys saw the number one of their school and began to mock. One of them asked the hero why such a rogue as Leroy could afford a silver copy of the portal. Another guy decided to give advice to the hero's friend to take a bottle of alcohol with him, so that when their group found his dead body, they could at least drink to his repose. All these statements infuriated his friend and he wanted to fight with these idiots but Leroy does not let him near them. The hero said that there is no need to waste your time on losers. Sooner or later they will understand everything themselves when their friends pass through the portal. The head told the hero to watch his tongue, because they are warriors of the second kingdom. This made Lyra laugh, so that he would keep his mouth shut just because the group had become a little stronger than his friends. Unexpectedly for the hero, Glent appeared. He simply decided to watch the ridiculous provocations of the hero and his friend. Glent walked out as he couldn't hold back his laughter any longer. He still thinks Leroy is trash with a support class who won't be able to level up his damn level. Friend Vernon is already on the verge of a breakdown. He wants to knock all his pompous little soul out of that idiot Glent. Lyra is grateful to Vernon for interceding, but the hero will definitely cope on his own. One of Glent's friends decided to deal with the hero alone, but, unfortunately, he did not calculate his strength. All his other friends followed him. Leroy threw his opponent straight into Glent. Now it's time for the bully. Leroy decided to spank him, but he only asked not to approach him. The hero is not too cruel, so he simply decided to tie him to a stone. Glent admits his guilt, but it is too late. After the showdown, the friends entered the ancient battlefield. For them this place does not look so impressive. The local monsters are significantly different from those Leroy saw in the dungeon for beginners, so you definitely can't relax. As soon as he said this, Vernon was grabbed by one of the monsters. Fortunately, Vernon has a master card class. Monsters will not be able to even get close to him. While Vernon dealt with him using his skill, the hero easily defeated the skeleton with his bare hands. The friend suddenly feels superfluous and useless, because he understands that if the hero had a little more strength, he could cope alone. Leroy asked not to lose heart. They had just begun. The hero will take those who are behind and Vernon will take those who are in front. 
Suddenly the hero throws Vernon aside. He didn't like it, because he's not some kind of thing. It turned out that the hero only saved his friend from certain death. Vernon is amazed that they were finally able to find the secretive boss of this location. Leroy attacked the monster and said that no one should ever underestimate the support class again. Vernon is proud of the hero. He fought the hidden boss one-on-one -on -one and defeated him without magic. Tied to the stone, Glenn saw that Leroy had set a new record. He was shocked because no one had ever passed the test so quickly, especially a hidden boss. The guys were surprised that so many people came to the entrance exam all because almost all of the great masters studied at this academy. Glent also came to the exam and told them that this time Leroy would not be able to use his tricks, which means everyone would see how insignificant the hero is. Vernon laughed and asked how he liked being tied to the rock. Glent replied that last time he was just careless. But now everything will be different. The bully has reached the second realm of the thief class. The hero's friend thought to himself and realized that although he would not be able to cope with the warrior of the second kingdom, Leroy would not say such things about his friend, he would simply smash him. The gong sounded and a girl came out, she says that today all students will have to demonstrate their full potential to the academy. You can use everything except the drugs that are prohibited, which increase strength for a short time. The first fight will take place between Glent and Leroy, the girl asked them to go out onto the platform. Glent immediately began telling the judge that the hero had violated the ban on the use of strength-enhancing drugs. The judge got angry and said not to talk nonsense. She could smell a violation a mile away. If Glent doesn't want to fight, then let him get off the platform. The enemy asked Leroy to admit that he cheated, because in his opinion, the support class would never be able to break the record of the dungeon, the ancient battlefield. Glent decided to make a bet. If the hero loses... He will be obliged to confirm that he did use the drugs, and will refuse to join the academy for another five years. The same applies to the enemy himself, the hero, of course, agreed. The rest of the students are shocked that Lyra's opponent is a thief of the second kingdom who moves at incredible speed. The hero could easily activate a skill that allows him to see invisible creatures, but he already sees everything. The enemy wanted to strike Leroy as a surprise, but he missed even with his speed. The audience only manages to discern the silhouette, even though the hero is not inferior to his opponent in speed. A river of sweat began to flow from Glent. He was tired of running. He tried as hard as he could, but he couldn't hit the hero. Although the enemy considers himself very fast, in Lyra's eyes he remains a slow turtle. The friend watched the battle all the time. He shouted to Glent. Where was his arrogant ridicule now? Otherwise it was somehow unusual to see the enemy so depressed. Glent couldn't lose to such trash, so he activated Spiral Strike. Leroy wanted to use his defense, but the judge stopped him. The opponent does not understand why the judge stopped him. He would have won if he had completed his move. It turned out that if the judge had not stopped the fight, Glent would have been dead. But of course, if he didn't like something, she could calmly resume everything. That's why the judge declares Leroy the winner. Glent will never admit defeat. The judge saved him from death but he runs into trouble again. Life certainly doesn't teach him anything. Vernon congratulated the hero on his good performance, but did not disgrace him. The judge called many students to the platform. One of them will be Vernon. Leroy thought that all the fights would take place in a one-on-one -on -one format. He gave instructions to his friend so that he would not allow himself to be pinned down in close combat. The guy didn't know that there would be a level 10 card master on the platform. He suggested to the other two participants that they first get rid of the strongest among them, and then decide everything among themselves. The girl said that she is a healer with a support class, so as long as she can show her skills, she doesn't care which side she takes. After her words, the guy decided to get rid of such a variable first. Now the girl would not be able to side with Vernon, and he asked the second girl if she would unite with his power, and she agreed. The guy didn't understand why Vernon interfered because this is a battle of everyone against everyone. Vernon is not so vile as to instantly abandon a person just because he did not want to take anyone's side. The guy's ally has a hypnotist class, and right now she intends to put Vernon to sleep. Close combat is a card master's weakness, but for an assassin's opponent, these are ideal conditions. But the guy knows little about the card master class. These cards are capable of not only attacking, but also protecting. Observers praised Vernon for the fact that he managed to cover his hand with a card, and then, without hesitation, immediately attacked. 
Vernon decided to show everyone his true power of the card master class by activating earth, fire, water, wind, and light. The hero did not look for allies, so he began firing all over the platform. The enemy was no longer interested in fighting, so I decided to finish this as quickly as possible. But I forgot about one thing, and to be more precise, about one, she activated her power as the goddess of spring, protecting Vernon. Vernon recovered and now the enemy has definitely lost. He will never be able to withstand the formation of five cards. As expected, the judge declared Vernon the winner. After the battle, a girl approached Vernon and thanked her for helping her, and also wanted to say that after a while he might feel a little hurt after her magic left. The girl's silk thread absorbs all the damage, but after a while it returns in double form. Lyra laughed and said that he thought they came here because of the exam, but it turns out Vernon came here looking for love. An hour later, the second round of battles began, involving Leroy against three opponents. Before the start of the battle, the guys said that they perfectly understand that the hero is very strong, so they asked not to be offended, because they decided to unite against him alone. The first girl asks the goddess of arrows, asks her to borrow strength and gives the girl's arrow the power of piercing. The hero understands that she has a lot of arrows, but they are all slow for him, and he can easily deflect them all. But here's the catch. Lyra can't move, and all because the other guy is a master of shackles, so the hero can't escape the archer's attack. Lyra managed to calmly get out of the trap. Although their thing looks impressive, it turned out to be as strong as the hero thought, but the arrows even hurt a little. After the attacks of all his rivals, the hero's turn has come. Now he will not deny himself anything. Unfortunately, Leroy was unable to do anything, a girl with the inscriber class is capable of creating formations on the ground that trap opponents inside a barrier. Many were glad that the hero was trapped and now they could easily defeat him, but Leroy caused significant damage to the barrier with the first blow. All spectators are amazed by the hero that he is able to defeat three opponents with one physical strength. Even though the hero is significantly stronger than all of them, he still praises the guys. They are incredibly lucky that such rare classes have come together. For a moment Leroy even thought that he might lose. But the guys think differently. The archer's arrows didn't even scratch her skin. The guy didn't see any skills. And the hero's other girl was a crazy monster. The entire team decided to give up in unison because they did not want to fight against such a powerful monster. Leroy didn't have time to realize anything when they all simply ran away. But this only played into the hero's hands. He decided it was better to go watch his friends fight. Vernon said that this couldn't even be called a fight, he was pitted against some monster, he didn't have time to notice how the shadow approached him, and a moment later he was already lying on the ground, fortunately, Siona's girl came to the rescue. The hero laughed, he didn't think that the relationship between his friend and his girlfriend would develop so rapidly. Meanwhile, the hero defeated everyone with ease, reaching the finals and meeting that same opponent, Vernon. The enemy is amused that apparently there really are no worthy masters left in Hueijo, since in the final exam he got Leroy with the altar class. A rival asks the god of murder to grant him the power to eclipse the dawn of this world. The hero understands that although he can be encircled by this black fog in order to gain an advantage, Leroy has a sensitive perception, and this definitely has nothing to do with visibility. But the hero understood everything perfectly. During his first attack, the enemy showed only one hand, so the hero assumed that he was simply running inside this moment, waiting to attack from the back, and Leroy turned out to be right. The opponent was surprised that the hero was able to analyze his skill after facing him only once. His talent in the field of battles is impressive, but he believes that this is not enough to defeat him. The shadow said that no matter how strong the hero's body is, he will still remain an altar. Lyra's talent may be able to handle it, but will he be able to defeat two shadows at once? Leroy wondered if it was an afterimage or not, if the shadow was really that fast, but the hero felt that they were both breathing. The hero was able to catch two shadows at once, despite the enemy's ability to get rid of him. But the difference between him and the hero is huge, he definitely cannot defeat the altar. Once again the judge declares Leroy the winner, but this time he is the undisputed champion. The representative congratulates the hero for becoming the strongest newcomer in their city, and gives a small reward as gratitude. Leroy was given a villa. Next time he will be given skill books or other bonuses, so from now on he will only need to work hard to become a strong master.
The students are shocked that the hero was given a new villa. They won't be able to earn enough for one in their entire lives. They'll just have to try hard to get bonuses too. He congratulated everyone on the official completion of the exam. Now teachers from different academies will talk to the students so that they choose and enter the desired academy. Vernon asked the hero if he chose the academy, because the guy had already been invited to Julian Academy. Although the hero is the best among the examinees, no one invited him. All the teachers say that the hero has taken the wrong path. Supposedly, he needs to improve his skills, and not just train his body. Towards evening, the head of the patrol of the Imperial Capital arrived. Under his leadership, they inspected the scene of the incident. There were traces of a powerful spell, but the movements of such masters are tracked, so it is not clear where such power came from. In the morning, the hero was having breakfast and suddenly choked on the call. He received a call from the same seller who gave him a silver copy of the portal. He said they had information about natural disasters. The hero was glad that he finally found out something about all these incidents and what he should do next. The man said that this natural disaster will be in the form of an earthquake, and it occurs in a place called Yenyan. Leroy became interested in this place and asked to send him the exact address, after which the hero would immediately go there. But the representative warned that natural disasters are no joke and the hero will need the necessary equipment to survive there. The hero refused their equipment. He is completely satisfied with his own. As soon as he returns, he will sell all the materials that he obtains inside the disaster. The man replied that he would personally ensure that his client was satisfied. The employee received a call from Tade and asked him if he had given Leroy a pass to the silver copy. He replied that yes, because what was wrong with him investing a little in an up-and-coming talent? Tade doesn't understand this. Maybe Leroy has some potential, but it's not enough for him to immediately issue an expensive pass. Leroy came to the diamond forest. It lives up to its name. On sunny days the forest shines like a diamond. Suddenly, a hero nearby heard screams. He came running and the girl said to run away, because this was a silver ink boss. The hero is amazed by his luck. As soon as he arrived in the forest, he immediately met the boss. While the girl is fighting him, Leroy is surprised by her kindness. The boss of the diamond forest is chasing her, but she still worries about others and tries to distract the monster from the hero. Leroy corrected the girl. She was wrong because she was a gold rank boss. As soon as the monster decided to attack, the hero immediately grabbed him by the tongue and threw him away. The girl cannot believe that Leroy took out a gold-ranked fiery lizard with one blow, after which he proposes to create a team. She blurted out everything about herself. Her name is Jackie and her class is the magician of a thousand changes. The hero cannot say his real name, because a natural disaster will soon happen here. So he borrowed the name of his friend Vernon, who is from Yaoguang. Jackie said that the hero is incredibly strong and suggests that they take a walk sometime when they return to Yaoguang. After nice conversations, the hero finally decided to find out why she even went into the diamond forest, and also alone. She said that equipment was too expensive these days, so she decided to try her luck in the diamond forest and earn some money. The girl is too trusting, so Leroy will have to look after her, since he has already decided to save her. The hero said that this is what you can face if you rely only on your luck. Leroy asked the girl to stand behind him while he dealt with the monster himself. It turned out that he was quite weak for the gold rank. Suddenly the girl screamed and asked not to approach the winged wolf cub. This is a pack of demonic wolves with red eyes. The girl is sure that she and the hero are doomed to death. Leroy is tired of listening to Jackie's whining. He can handle them all himself. Just a couple of blows and the hero proved to the girl that he could easily defeat them. Today, something abnormal is happening in the Diamond Forest. Before, there weren't so many strong monsters on the outskirts. Lero suggested that the monsters also sense the approach of a natural disaster, which is why they began to emerge from the Diamond Forest. He will be able to speed up the appearance of the earthquake with a forbidden level spell to prevent the influx of monsters. But now the hero will not be able to use the spell in front of the girl. Jackie is happy that such a strong guy is next to her, and now she is not afraid of any bosses. But the hero disappointed her and told her to go back alone. Lyra told the girl that he supposedly felt that a very powerful and vile person was now hiding in the diamond forest, and it was because of him that the monsters began to come out to the outskirts of the forest. Lyra did not stand on ceremony for long and sent her out of the forest. Fortunately, she did not have a single scratch on her body. Finally, 
the hero decided to use the forbidden spell, Chaos Area. Meteorites began to fly into the forest, and the girl realized that someone had used the forbidden spell. Apparently the hero overdid it with the power of the spell. But this is no longer important. He first needs to find the source of the natural disaster. Meanwhile, in the intelligence department, a worker reported to the head that they had discovered a huge release of magical energy in the diamond forest. The head told the elder that according to their information, two powerful masters are now fighting in the diamond forest. When the elder arrived in the city, he thought that it was all about the earthquake. But he never expected that things would turn out that way. First, everyone decided to find out about the exact location of the masters and display their battle on the screen for broadcast. And the elder would think about their arrest later. Leroy was still able to find the long-awaited source of the natural disaster. But nearby the hero felt several very strong auras. If they managed to set up protective formations, then Leroy would not be able to escape from here so he decided to use a portable teleport. Workers report that there is no one in the southeast, southwest, and northeast. But in the northwest we notice two points, which means that this is where the masters are located. The head cannot understand who he is, that they could not catch him. The elder explained that the master used a teleportation formation, but ordinary people do not have this ability. In the morning, an informant called the hero and said that something serious happened yesterday. He began to tell what the hero didn't seem to know. Yesterday there was an earthquake, and then a mysterious master showed up. The informant was worried about the hero, so he decided to call. The man said that he would immediately contact Lyra as soon as he received new information about the source of the disaster. Lyra realized that this old fox was testing the hero, but this no longer matters, because the source is in the hands of the hero, and now he will be able to reach the third kingdom. In the upgrade room, the girl is happy to see the hero again. She had never seen anything like this. Leroy had just promoted his class two months ago, and now he came again with the source of a natural disaster. The guy behind the hero asked his girlfriend what kind of monster this was, which appeared just two months after being promoted to the second kingdom. He doesn't understand how to even fight such things. The worker called the hero incredible. As soon as he puts his hand on the crystal, he will immediately receive a task. Leroy again received an S-class task. Now he will have to go fight in the Iron Forest. The hero came to the old fox on business. He presented a list of necessary equipment and materials. So he had a task to upgrade his class. The man congratulated Leroy in advance. Because he believes that the hero will become the first altar of the Third Kingdom. To divert suspicion from himself, the hero said that his master took a lot of risks in order to get him the third source of the natural disaster. It would be rude to frame the master. The fox naturally fell for Lyra's story. He now understood why the hero was able to collect as many as three sources so quickly. He immediately wanted to establish relations with the hero and his master. So he decided to offer one very interesting artifact for only four million. Leroy began to bargain, offering a price of two million. But a man cannot sell such an artifact for less than 3.8 million. But the hero was still able to persuade the seller to the lowest threshold buying the artifact for 3 million. After the deal, the hero strengthened his mask 10,000 times, and now he can pretend to be his fictional master as much as he wants. No one will guess that it is actually Leroy. Leroy took the form of Glent, especially since the hero remembered that Vernon said that tomorrow Glent was going to go to the city of Yenyun for training, then no one would know that he was Leroy. A friend congratulated Glent on joining the prestigious academy. Now the hero is obliged to treat him to a drink. Leroy made sure that Glent was fast asleep. He would remain in the bar at least until tomorrow morning, at which time the hero would complete his task in the Iron Forest. The friend asked the girl to take Glent to the best room there was, but there was no need to wake him up. Leroy immediately reincarnated and now no one will understand that it is the hero in the Iron Forest. In the forest, a strange man approached the guy and offered to join his team. They often visit the Iron Forest, so they have already earned a reputation for themselves. It turned out that he is not a man, he is only 27 years old and his name is Vince. He is a level 30 guard knight. Besides him there are two more in the squad. The hero was surprised, but the same judge was on Vince's team. She was also surprised by such a meeting, she didn't think that Glent would recover so quickly. The remaining two participants are investigating, so for now they follow Vince everywhere. 
They came to protect the girl and find out more about the mysterious master. The hero is amazed by his luck. He joined the team, which will include employees investigating the case about him. The team had just entered the forest and were met on the way by a steel tiger. Vince was glad that he would calmly deal with him, but his entire flock walked behind the steel tiger. The guy ordered everyone to take the right flank, and he would take care of the left. The judge decided to leave the defense to Vince, and she decided to go into battle. Although there are many of them, for her they are still just small prey. The hero didn't even think that the two main fighting classes had such strength. The steel tigers had no chance to resist them. Only one problem appeared. Vince was jumped from the bushes by the king of steel tigers, who was also a gold rank boss, whom he had never met in the outskirts of the iron forest. Lyra noticed one fact that when he sees this girl, they are constantly attacked by gold rank bosses. There is definitely something wrong with her luck. The monster is too strong and the guy won't be able to hold it off for so long. The team will have to split up and run. Otherwise they will all be dead. The whole team fled in different directions. But for the hero this is a great chance. Now he can rely on the mask of the god of freedom. And create that fictitious mysterious master with his own hands. This will finally take suspicion away from the hero. Vince had just started cursing the damn tigers when the shadow wolf. A gold rank boss. Appeared behind him. The guy wanted to deal with this wolf himself, but the judge thought otherwise and took the prey from him. Leroy decided to take the shadow wolf skin right now, running past the team in order to definitely divert suspicion from himself. Vince didn't like the hero's behavior. Why should he give the skin of their prey to the first person he met? The hero explained that the fur of the shadow wolf would be very useful for him, but it was a pity that the team refused to give up the skin in an amicable way. Instead of communicating, they preferred to attack. But they didn't think that this old man was so strong, it's a pity they don't know who they really attacked. Leroy met on his way the lord of the forest, a three-eyed demonic gorilla. Now the hero understood why those monkeys dared to attack him, they knew that this giant was behind them. Leroy, of course, would quickly deal with the gorilla, but first he wants to look at his hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. The gorilla showed a strange sign, as if she was begging for mercy, but this is not certain. The enemy decided to distract the hero in this way. Then he took the tree trunk and began to wave it around himself, preparing to strike. This monkey is quite strong, but the hero is no slouch either. He was able to calmly block the blow of the barrel. After a moment, the gorilla flies away at incredible speed from Lyra's blow. After defeating the monkey, the hero heard conversations from the forest. Someone was walking through the greenery and checking all the zones. These voices came from his team. They found the gorilla's body and were simply shocked who could have hurt him like that. The girl began to analyze and realize that this style of fighting, killing with one blow, reminds her of Vernon from the Diamond Forest. Leroy walked away from his team and began to think about where to look for the forest guard. And as always, the hero is very lucky. He met another gold rank boss, but this time, it is the long-awaited guardian of the Iron Forest. This monster has good attacks and defense. To finish it off, the hero will have to break through all its tentacles and hit its body. The monster thought that he could stop Leroy with his tentacles and be able to win. But this could not stop the hero. Leroy freed himself from the tree's attack. But it turned out that the monster, being the boss of the Iron Forest, could subjugate other local creatures under its control. The hero felt a powerful aura nearby. Perhaps an elder had already been called into the forest. Leroy thought to play a little with the monsters but he would have to use a forbidden spell, an area of chaos. The team watches what is happening. Jackie again saw the forbidden spell, which means this is again the same master with whom the hero supposedly fought. At that second, the elder arrived, as soon as he was informed about what had happened about the mysterious master. The girl said that another guy, Glent, was with them, but they could not find him. Meanwhile, Leroy was able to get the guard's heart, thereby completing the task. The hero wondered how he could divert suspicion from himself. And then a brilliant idea came to his mind. He called the branch of the merchant's guild and asked if they were interested in the heart of the guard. The seller asked not to worry, because their company sells everything that can be sold profitably. The guy replied that tomorrow morning he would leave the guardian's heart in one of the tree trunks in the outer part of the left side of the forest outside the city, and also asked to leave cash there. As soon as the seller takes the heart, the hero will come to him and buy it from the manager. This will slightly divert suspicion from the hero. Glenn pretended to be frozen to a tree, 
the elder freed him and asked him whether he was glint or not as he walked leroy made up a story that he was trying to get out of the forest but somehow found himself even deeper and then he was blinded by a strong light and could not see anything else the elder took the bait he believes that the guy is not lying but he does not understand how the killer of the second kingdom was able to survive the effect of the forbidden spell. The team is glad to see the hero again in their ranks. For them he is a real lucky one, since even the forbidden spell could not kill him. After the team had dispersed in all directions, the elder was still alarmed by something in Glenta. So he sent one worker to follow him, and he himself would go to the scene. The hero heard their plan, but they do not have enough strength to follow it. As soon as the hero woke up, he activated the all-seeing eye. He saw five people from the ministry, and they all began to follow Glent and are trying to track Vernon. Fortunately, the hero himself is not suspected. Leroy was washing his face and a representative called him. He said that he had great news. Yesterday he acquired the heart of a guard, which the hero needs to increase his kingdom. Yesterday's hero deal went just great. Now everything will depend only on Leroy's acting skills. He... One of the investigators called the boss and said that he couldn't believe that Leroy could be pretending and there was no need to keep an eye on him. However, the boss does not think so. Leroy became the champion in the exam, so his current behavior, on the contrary, looks too suspicious. In order to ward off suspicion, the hero asked if they really had the heart of a leader. The investigators are amazed that such an ordinary school but could establish such a good relationship with Mr. Fox. The boss asked him to stay and watch while he contacted the top. The representative is pleased with the legendary equipment that the hero sold him, but he is interested in who its master is. In addition to talking about resources, Leroy decided to subtly hint that the people outside were too annoying. The fox understood his client perfectly, so the guards told them that this was a VIP zone and strangers were not allowed there. The representative was tired of the impudence of outsiders, he came out and said that it was not for them to decide who could enter here and who could not. The security took them out, and the authorities would deal with them as a consequence. As soon as the girl saw the hero again, she felt goosebumps on her skin. She did not think that the hero would complete the task so quickly. This time, upgrading his class was more painful than the previous times. Now he understood why there were never third-class altars. The sources of natural disasters literally forced the body to evolve. Leroy has finally absorbed the power of the sources of natural disaster. If anyone from the lightning or wind spell masters attacks him, then he will not have a chance against the hero. But all the people in the area are distraught. They assume that the screen has broken, because it is impossible that the altar could rise to the third kingdom. Leroy came out and the whole crowd of his fans ran towards him. Now he is a real star for them. Each of them wants a photo with him and his painting. A crowd of fans lined up in front of the hero. Some confessed their love for him, while others drew posters in his honor. When Lyra got home, his mom asked what the new style of clothing was, as if he had robbed a bank. The hero laughed. He had no need to rob a bank, it's just the other side of popularity. He asked that if someone comes and asks him, then the hero is not at home. Even when the hero jumped out of the window and ran, they still noticed him and began to follow him. Lyra never would have thought that fighting off fans was much harder than fighting off damn monsters. After the hero came to the auction hall, where he met his beloved friend Glent, he immediately began to realize that the hero could not so brazenly come to an elite auction just because he had become a little famous. The entrepreneur began to assure the hero that he would definitely not go home empty-handed today. In addition to the promised cloak, Mr. Fox gives Leroy a VIP card which contains 100 million for the equipment that the hero has been selling all the time. The girl greeted everyone at this event. She presented the first slot, a steel arm that is forged from the swing of a steel tiger, a gold level lot that can increase stamina by 10%. Starting price 1.2 million, minimum bid increase 100,000. Someone finally bought a steel arm for 2.3 million. The entrepreneur knew that the hero would not like such a trifle, but if the hero likes something, then he would have to fight with the question of who was located in the remaining VIP rooms. Mr. Fox said that in their empire there are five great families. It is in their hands that all the untold wealth is now in their hands. But at the auction there is only one rule. Whoever pays the most will receive the item. The next lot is one of the most important items in today's auction. Ruins Pass Number 3 Ruins Number 3 is one of the largest ruins in the world. 
These ruins are opened once every 30 years and require special fragments to enter. At the moment, there are only 100 such fragments left in the world. The starting price is 10 million, and the minimum bid increase is 500,000. The hero is interested in this lot, and he must get this pass. So he offers 80 million. A guy from a rich family offers 100 million. He told Leroy that this pass will be his. He hopes that the hero will refuse the lot, and in return the guy will compensate him with 50 million. However, Leroy did not listen to some rich mother's son, and offers 150 million for the lot. The hero is not afraid of the five great families, so he immediately raises the bet to 200 million. The girl, proud of the hero, announces that Leroy is closing the lot for 200 million. The representative asked the hero to be more restrained towards such persons, because tomorrow such a conflict will be known to the entire empire. Lyra said that anyone who goes to the auction should be prepared for the fact that someone will offer more money for the lot. Despite this, the entrepreneur said that it is always a pleasure to deal with the hero. He wanted Leroy to bring five items of the same level that he brought before for sale next time. Lyra is shocked by this condition, because he is not a wholesaler of legendary equipment, so he agreed on two items. The girl came and said that two of the hero's equipment were sold for 6 billion and 350 million silver, even with a commission of 20%. The hero could live the rest of his life without needing anything. Leroy is also worried that he offended the guy, but the representative promised that nothing would threaten his safety. The hero left the auction and met that same guy. His family's people had long surrounded the auction building, even a fly could not slip through unnoticed. The guys are not eager to take the artifact by force, they simply sell it, and the hero will receive another 100 million from above. The girl confirmed the guy's words. Their family has no evil intentions. They never take away what they have acquired through dishonest labor. They only want to offer money so that the hero will allow them to use the pass. But the hero decided to answer boldly. He did not share what he bought with his own money. If they really want this pass, then let them come and take it. Leroy beat the guys, but suddenly a girl appeared, the goddess of murderers. As soon as she was reminded of the rules of the three-day auction, their entire family ran away in fear. The hero realized that the girl was ordered to protect him for three days, which means she will follow on his heels. It's just that someone is still watching Lyra, so he asks for her help. The girl was surprised. Why would this be? She should protect the hero, and not get rid of his enemies. Hiring the goddess of murder costs at least two million. The hero, of course, agreed. Her frantic strength truly deserves the title of goddess of assassins. She checked the surroundings within a radius of 10 kilometers and did not notice anyone else suspicious. The girl can expand the search circle if the hero pays another 1.6 million. For him, she made a 20% discount. She works not only for money, she needs materials to upgrade her class, fashionable dresses, shoes, but everything around is expensive and there is not enough money at all. As Leroy asked to stop worrying so much, he decided to hire the girl as a bodyguard for a month, paying 500 million. But the girl doesn't care about money anymore, because she feels that she just has to protect, and especially since there is definitely some kind of connection between them. Siona said that from now on, from today, she completely belongs to the hero. It's night outside, the hero is sleeping soundly and sweetly and everyone is still watching him. They told their captain that Leroy had not done anything suspicious in these few days. The captain replied that they should just keep watching, since the order came from above, so if their team found something, they could all count on promotion. Suddenly, a very familiar shadow for the hero Leroy appeared behind the captain. The shadow strangled and took the captain. She said that this was the last warning. If she notices at least one spy again, she will begin to act much more seriously than at the moment. It turned out that Sian's girlfriend pretended to be this shadow. She dealt with the spies while the hero was sleeping soundly. Leroy woke up and was surprised that the girl was in his room, and also on his bed. Siona wondered who the hero managed to anger so much that various strange people were hanging around nearby, so she had to deal with them all night. The girl said that she copes with her duties quite well, so she wants to consider the option of extending their cooperation. She began to count, there are 12 months in a year, then multiplied everything by 5, taking into account that every 10 years there will be a discount, then she approximately expects to cooperate by the age of 100. They came to the main training ground, the hero came here to meet with a friend, and then they would all go together to the golden portal. 
The guys immediately began to say that there was nothing between them and they were just friends, and the hero was already infuriated by their constant denial, as if he were blind. Vernon turned the topic to the hero. Lyra said that his older cousin was next to him. Siona was outraged. At first the hero called her cutie, and now she suddenly turned into an older sister. The friend almost died laughing, but still congratulated the hero. Leroy almost burned with shame. This didn't happen. It was some kind of mockery. He asked the girl to introduce herself normally. The guy was worried if she could pass authentication by face and name. The girl said yes, since she looks very much like her sister. Everyone arrived at the place, Vernon. This location resembled a place from a copy of the Silver Portal. As soon as Vernon said that they had already fought the hidden boss and were able to defeat it easily, many new hidden bosses appeared. He didn't understand how it happened that the hidden boss suddenly became an ordinary monster. One guy said that these minotaurs are at least level 15, and he himself is only 18, so he abandons everyone and runs away. Although Leroy doesn't like this guy, he wouldn't want her to disappear there, so he decided to run after him. Siona remained in charge, she's just been too relaxed lately, and she still needs to hone her skills. The guy didn't manage to run far, there are a dozen monsters around him, he can't defeat them, and he can't escape either. The hero found a guy, he will help only if he asks him about it, but the guy refused, saying that he would rather die than ask the hero for help. After exhaustion and an attack from a huge boss, the guy finally decided to ask Lero for help. After the battle, the hero told the guy that he had the killer class, but for some reason he was frail, he couldn't even withstand speed. However, he has gained a lot of experience. With a little more effort, the guy will have the opportunity to improve his class. While Vernon rejoices at his victories, thanks to the help of Siona, she asks to stop fooling around, because soon it will become truly dangerous. Just a minute ago the minotaurs were rushing like a tank, but now they have stopped. A crack appeared in the ground and a gold rank boss, the lord of the minotaurs, came out. He doesn't pose much of a threat to Siona, but the fact that Siona will have to protect two more while fighting him makes the task much more difficult. The girl was lucky because Leroy returned just in time. Vernon is not yet participating in the battle, he stands and watches from the side, but suddenly he did not understand where he had gone. The Minotaur dived straight into the ground and ended up under Vernon. He did not have time to activate the protection, and he was thrown back very strongly. He asked his girlfriend to run, but she refused. While the hero protects everyone around him, he does not understand why such a drama should be played out. If someone is injured, he needs to step aside and not lie and whine. Vernon didn't expect such kindness from Cedric, but in fact they were just getting in the way, so he decided to drag them away. Siona asked Lero how, with such strength, he could not even catch the Lord of the Minotaurs. But the hero's bodyguard is only Siona, so the hero won't have to do anything else but stand and watch. With numerous blows, the girl confused the Minotaur, and now he does not know how to attack her. Next, she used the skill, executing floating petals and bloody attack. After such a skill, the monster immediately fell into pieces on the ground. Suddenly, a portal lit up under the guise, which meant that the dungeon had been completed. The guys returned and the employee offered to treat his entire team to dinner, but the hero refused. Lyra said that it's somehow strange to do this. First he takes the guys into the dungeon and a minotaur magically appears there. And now, as if nothing had happened, he invites them all to dinner. It turned out that this was the first time the employee had heard about such an invitation to the dungeon. He did not do it, but was ready to atone for his guilt. Since Vernon had the most wounds he had to choose, he chose two gold equipment, although he could have chosen much more valuable equipment. Leroy thought so and realized that the owner had no need to lie to him, Ben who tried to deal with the hero with the hands of the Lord of the Minotaurs. The hero is still thinking, he has already begun to think that this is the family of that guy from the auction, but that would be somehow too open for them. Siona sharply grabbed the hero by the face, he didn't understand anything, she said that she just wanted to dispel his sadness, and that's all. The girl almost went crazy when the hero asked her to deal with that family. Although she is strong, she is no match for them. One of them is an old man of level 76. Leroy reminded her that someone boasted very much about his strength. She said that this is completely different. There are three divine stage masters in the entire empire. Naturally she will not fight the damned monster. 
Other states have approximately ten divine stage masters. They have united into one unit to stop the advance of monsters. The hero praised Siona for being so knowledgeable. In addition, the girl said that the hero constantly distracted her with conversations, so she forgot to ask about something important. She asked what the true level of the hero's powers was if he stopped the attack of a gold rank boss so casually. The hero didn't want to say this at all, but the girl still forced him. He said that his strength could be compared to a diamond stage master, but in fact, his strength could be compared to a supreme stage master. The girl asked where they would spend the night today. The hero said that he was going to return home, so Siona could spend the night with him. When the parents saw their son and his girlfriend, they were happy that he had finally become an adult. But the dad asked to be more restrained while the parents were at home. Leroy woke up and saw Siona lying next to him. He did not understand why she was lying next to her and what had happened during the night. Siona said that last night the owner's people brought what they promised, so she did not wake up the hero's parents, jumped out of the window and took the things, and when she brought them, she really wanted to sleep. The girl gave the hero tickets, he gave one ticket to her, because she had just broken through to the top stage, so she needed to increase the level. Meanwhile, three days have already passed, and the girl needs to return to the auction hall and report that nothing happened to the hero during this time. Siona asked if the hero knew the manager, he answered yes, the girl asked not to lose vigilance with him, because he is not such a simple person as he seems. The bodyguard also reminded that the five main academies will soon begin to accept students, so she thinks that the altar of the third kingdom will be accepted everywhere. Leroy finally came to the student reception hall, and saw a huge number of people wanting to enroll. Security asked the hero to go inside with them so that Leroy could go through the double selection. Double selection means that not only the academy representative selects the student, but the student can choose the academy he wishes. All representatives shout, argue and lure the hero to them, although not so long ago they said that they did not need a hero. One representative interested the hero, for Leroy the sources of natural disaster are important. Only with their help will he be able to rise to the altar of the fourth kingdom, but for their academy it is not a problem to provide the hero. Leroy made his choice and decided to enter Kauki Academy. Siona quickly sorted out her report in the auction room in order to quickly find out how things went with the hero. The girl realized that he entered the same academy that she graduated from, so she suggested that the hero call her older sister, but the hero would never call her that in his life. Leroy suddenly felt as if someone was watching them. That's right, the girl saw three groups of people in the northeast, southwest and north, and judging by their conversations, these were people from that family. The guy reported to his boss that all three groups had been eliminated, and they no longer had people left who could cope with the hero. The boss said that they cannot retreat now, their sister has already been locked up. If they retreat, then no one will save her. Since there was no other way out, the guy came to his uncle with a request to help him. His uncle listened to his nephew and said that he would definitely meet with him. In the middle of the night, the guys felt this strange energy. They didn't think the family would go this far. Siona felt the aura of a very powerful master on the outskirts of the city. He is at least at the peak of the supreme stage. Leroy understands perfectly well that if he continues to hide from them, sooner or later they will be able to get to his family. So he has to take the initiative into his own hands. The enemy decided to give the hero one last chance, so that he would give him a pass to ruins number three. Only after that the conflict would be settled. But the hero bought him at auction with his own money, so he is not going to give anything away. The girl decided to deal with his uncle herself, but when she hit him, her sword broke. The girl recognized him. This is the master of three blades. He is the one at the peak of the supreme stage. Only he uses such a fancy weapon. Siona is not going to give up so easily, because she must protect her hero. While his uncle is fighting, the guy pitifully watches the battle with his tail between his legs. The man is surprised that the girl first distracted him with an illusion, then in a split second enclosed him in a shadow cocoon, and then tried to inflict fatal damage with a legendary level dagger. Leroy was about to help Siona, but the guy stopped him and said that he would be his opponent. Even though the enemy is a level 40 knight at the peak of the gold stage, this does not frighten the hero at all, but only makes him happy. So many loud words from the guy, and the hero managed to stop his sword with just one finger. For Leroy he is just a frog at the bottom of the well, 
and not some great knight. And Leroy didn't wait long, so he slammed the enemy into the ground. He would spare him if he gave up his compass. The guy activated a legendary level artifact so that the hero wouldn't get it, which is why he's so happy. The dome turned out to be really strong, so the hero decided to pretend to be the secret master. The enemy was frightened by the monstrous strength of the hero. He asked to know his name so that his family could compensate for such a misunderstanding. The hero did not listen to him further, so he used a forbidden spell, an area of chaos and the last judgment. The Ministry of Magic Control of Huizhou City once again discovered a huge surge of magical energy. The elder said that two mysterious masters may have appeared in the city at once, capable of using spells of a forbidden level. And what the elder ordered to do, you will soon find out, to be continued.